Next up then is the Hoolies Maiden. This is a two mile one furlong Maiden Chase. And the top one is Avro Anson for John Morgan, Jack Sparrow, Ryan Tamasebi, Monster Dominator Jim Murray, Mawalesh Otto for David Robertson, One Master David Hooley, Tin Pot Boris for Graham Clitterbuck, Duchess Lancelot for Rhodes, and Herbalistic Rumpus for Ryan Costello. So some good names in there. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know where Graham Clitterbuck got his one from. And away they go as they race down towards the first of the fences then in this two mile chase oh a bit of a mistake there it looked like it was a fauna already but it was just a bit of a glitch in the where they jumped the fence but it's Jack Sparrow who is in the lead from Wileish Otto in second Tim Pop Morris the grey is third then Duchess Lancelot is after that one with Monster Dominator and Avro Anson one master and finally Herbalistic Rumpus is just the back marker towards the second of the 13 fences they really are motoring along and Jack Sparrow is in the lead for Ryan Tamasebi Wileish Otto is in second for David Robertson then Jim Murray's Monster Dominator is third Duchess Lancelot is after that one in fourth as they skip over fence number three and come up past the stand for the first time next time round is the time we'll count there's the big fancy new stand at Toaster oh, I first came here in the 70s and the 80s it was very different as they skip over number four as i said earlier i also remember seeing tingle creek basically on a punk holiday monday um i think twice and well, the first season he was in a two or a three horse race and the second season he was a walkover and he still sort of paraded up and down for a bit and came around the track so it was good to see tingle creek all those years ago and jack sparrow is in the lead over this ditch gave that one plenty of air got over it nicely from wireless otto in second there's a big gap then of about six lengths back to Monster Dominator in third. Tin Pot Boris Avro Anson and Duchess Lancelot are virtually in a line. One master is being pushed along to try and join them as they take number six. And the one that's struggling at the back is Herbalistic Rumpus. Maybe been on the wrong sort of herbs, but it's Boilish Otto who's in the lead. Jack Sparrow second there. We have a gap off three or four lengths then to Monster Dominator in third. Queuing up behind. That one just about the grey head of Tim Pot Boris in fourth. Avro Anson is nicely placed as well as they make their way well inside the final mile. And Jack Sparrow's got back up on the inside and back into the lead as Tim Pot Boris jumped that one slowly. But it's Jack Sparrow by about a length to Wildish Otto. These two are a good four clear still of Monster Dominator. Avro Anson is next as they take fence number eight. And another mistake there by Tim Pot Boris. It's not like Boris is to make mistakes, is it? And it's Jack Sparrow in the lead from Wildish Otto in second. Then comes Monster. Dominator in third as they take fence number nine and over that one they go a bit of a slow jump by Avro Anson at time but it's Jack Sparrow in the lead by about a length to Moilish Otto in second as we take a look from the other side of the track then now and they're all over that one and they're beginning to make the swing towards home and it's Jack Sparrow in the lead from Moilish Otto in second Monster Dominator is back in third nothing's got anywhere near these front two at the moment but it's Jack Sparrow in front Moilish Otto is in second over this one that's the third from home the final ditch and it's Moilish Otto and Jack Sparrow disputing the lead bit of a gap back to Duchess Lancelot and one master Monster Dominator looks beaten so too does Tim Pot Boris Herbalistic Rumpus has been out of it for ages but it's Jack Sparrow in the lead by length to Marlish Otto in second the grey running on is one master Duchess Lancelot is still there as well Avro Anson is getting a second win but it's Jack Sparrow who's gone back to the front over the second last he goes but a better jump by Marlish Otto and Marlish Otto bursts back into the lead it's Marlish Otto now going two three lengths clear Marlish Otto comes down towards the final fence looking like he's only got to jump it but Avro Anson is finishing really well it's Marlish Otto in the lead Half a furlong to go. Here comes Avro Anson on the outside. Molly Toto needs a lot and Avro Anson is swooping at Avro Anson has got up to take in Avro Anson with it. Molly Toto is second. Jack Sparrow third. British Lancelot for them. One master. Tim Pot Morris. Monster Dominator. And finally, Herbalistic Rumpus. Avro Anson. What a blistering turn of foot. Your auntie post bets on the Queen Mother for that one. And Molly Toto second. Jack Sparrow ended up a good 10 lengths behind in third. And pretty impressive performance that one. John Morgan's not got too many horses this season, but you can be pretty sure there'll be good ones. It's Avro Anson, the winner for John Morgan. Wileish Otto for David Robertson, second. Jack Sparrow, Ryan Tamasevi was third. Duchess Lancelot, Paul Rhodes, fourth. And one master for David Hooley was in fifth.